Now, the meetings with my urologist would start the same each time. Good afternoon, Mr. Snelders. PSA looking good. How are your erections? The number of times I wanted to say, fine, thanks. How are yours? But the truth is, I would say there were nothing to write home about. and My hopes of the Olympics were fading fast. The plus point was, he told me that I didn't have to change from one method to another, but could add to it. We discussed the contents of his goodie box. There were injections that went straight into the penis, which I would want to avoid for two reasons. Firstly, any further attack on my failing member did not seem like a good start to a night of passion. Secondly, if administered by my girlfriend, there would be the inevitable quips of, it's just a little prick. However, there was a drug called Alprostadil, the same compound that was injected, but instead in a droplet form. This would be put down the opening of the penis. As the consultant explained this, he took a rubber penis which he had on his desk to demonstrate. I said I was glad it had a purpose on his desk other than as a humorous paperweight, so now I would add this to the pump and Cialis. I would term it my eye drop. The joke ran on, not to confuse it with any actual eye drops, or I would just look hard. This foreplay lark was getting extended to the point I might have to skip lunch to be ready for the evening. At the next meeting, I was again greeted with, Good afternoon, Mr. Snelders. PSA looking good. How are your erections? I expressed my frustration with not making the Premier League and worried about relegation to face OBL Sunday League in the quarterfinals. It was like a wonderful game of I went to market and got. Viagra was added to the list, so I bought a new suitcase to go on holiday. There might even be room for some clothes. Now, all this was going on whilst I was preparing for radiotherapy and its trial. The result of this would hopefully benefit many others in years to come, so not only would it rid me of my Carmen, maybe, but I'd be giving back something to the wonderful people who've used their skills to save my life. The trial had a number who would receive radiotherapy straight away, and the rest only if their PSA rose after surgery. Luckily, I was in the group to have it immediately. Due to the severity of my operation and the fact that Carmen had danced herself to the edges of the margin that had been cut, I was to endure around 13 weeks of treatment. This would mean going in every weekday for 20 minutes to be zapped from several angles. The first appointment would be setting things up in preparation. To my joy, it would include the ever stylish open back gown each time. I was then put on a table and exact measurements were taken so that each time I could be put into a precisely the same position straight away. It was then that I found out I would be tattooed. Not once, but three times. None of the nurses looked like tattoo artists, and I wondered if I would end up with pictures of medical instruments across my torso with no fear underneath. 